Welcome back to my next video. So yesterday I came out and was looking under my hood, checking the oil and doing all that stuff. And I noticed a huge mouse nest. Uh, some kind of mouse had been in there and boy, he had an enormous nest going inside there. And so you can't have that. You just cannot tolerate a nest inside your rig. They'll do thousands of dollars. They, they have to chew and they chew constantly. And they love chewing on wires. And I don't know why, but electrical wires is their favorite. So they'll go in there and they'll just chew and chew and chew on your electrical wire. And they can do thousands. You might I've known people who went out at the end of a, uh, when I was a campground host, they'd go out at the end of the season. Uh, they were campground hosts in the same campground. And they'd discover the rig wouldn't start. They looked underneath and all the wiring had been eaten away. And it would cost them a couple of grand to replace the entire wiring harness. It's really, really expensive. And so the risk is very, very high, and the expense is very, very high. So I just have no tolerance for mice in my rig. I just get rid of them. Mostly, for me, I've not, I've rarely had them under the hood. This is probably one of the only times I can remember having a mouse under the hood. Uh, they usually get inside the rig. They want the warmth. They want the food and the water, and they want all of that. Because I have a dog, and there's dog food out, and there's water out all the time. That's what they're after. And so uh, in, back in the rig, I just use traps, and I use poison. And be careful, like, boy, you've got to be very, very careful with poison because if dog gets hold of that poison, he dies. Um, and so that's really, you got to be very careful. But uh, what I have come to use the most, although it's pretty pretty unpleasant, is uh, the, the uh, glue traps. The glue traps. Put a little peanut butter in the middle of a glue trap and you're, you're almost certainly going to get the mouse. Of course, the mouse doesn't die. Then the next day when you catch him, you have to kill him yourself. And that's unpleasant. I don't I don't want to kill mice. I don't, you know, I don't have any desire. So at any rate, I'm, I digress as usual. So I got a mouse in there. And so I get this question a lot. What do I do about mice? And everybody has a solution. But I have my own simple solution. So let me show you my simple solution to the mouse problem. Uh, right here, what I what I did. So uh, that night, I set out my unusual trap, and I caught him, and he was dead. And it's the next day now, and I'll, I'm going to show you the dead mouse. And you may not want to see a dead mouse, and if you don't want to see a dead mouse, turn off the video now. Uh, I'll show you how I made the trap, and then I'll show you the dead mouse. So that way, you can watch the trap, know how you can do it if you want to do it, because this works, and it's. I think it's fairly humane, as humane as killing an animal can be. Um, and so let me show you. It's a simple trap. I've described it before, but here you're actually going to see it. So I discovered this trap uh, very uh, early on just by putting water out for Cody. I put water out for Cody in a, this is a two gallon bucket, a uh, gallon and a half, two gallon, I think. And so to set the trap, it's nothing more than water a gallon of water in a two and a half gallon bucket, uh, which is what I carry to carry, feed, give water hold to Cody at any rate. And then you, you have to build up some kind of ladder because they can't climb up there. And so uh, I just happen to have this two by four. But if in the desert, which is where I usually get most of my mice is in the desert, I would put out a, um, just build up a rock so that they can climb up. They got to be able to get in. And then what I will do, let me walk around is uh, I put a dab of peanut butter. Peanut butter is the best bait I have found. There's just a little dab. So the mouse climbs to the top and smells the peanut butter. Oh, you can actually see he has been after the peanut butter. I can see claw marks on that peanut butter. Wow. Uh, so he tried to climb out and then... Okay, well now I'm going to show you the... I'm going to show you the, the mouse now. So if you don't want to see the mouse, turn away. And so this is what I found, is that I got a dead mouse in there. He drowned. It's more water than he can swim in, and so he drowned. And you can see, I just, here's the hood where he lives. He's made a home out of my engine bay, and he goes in and out at night to, uh, to, uh, to hunt, to get water. And so I set a trap right there at the tire right below the engine and he wanted the peanut butter and he went in and he took, went for a swim and he drowned. So I discovered this long ago, I would leave out water for Cody in the desert because of course he gets thirsty and, and so I put out a gallon bucket and on a regular basis I'd wake up the next day and have a couple, couple three mice 
in their dead. And so I quickly learned that mice will go right in there and they'll drown. And what a natural, uh, reasonable way to uh, to trap and kill mice. They drown, you know, and drowning's no fun, but um, it's fairly quick. And I just am not going to have mice in my rig. So this works. There are many other ways. Uh, I have used nearly all of them. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, glue traps work the best. You put a little ga uh, gob of um, peanut butter in the middle of a glue trap, and they'll they'll go in to get it, and then they'll be stuck, and they can't get out. They just they'll put their other foot down to pull themselves up, and then it's stuck, and then they'll put the other two feet in, and they're usually laid over on their side, just glued down tight. They just can't. They're not getting out. And then the next day, you have to actually kill them and put them out of their misery. That's very important that you do that. And so, you know, it's um, it's no fun. And I've used the regular snap traps and the plastic traps and the poison. They all work. They, they will all work. Uh, the poison works very slowly. You'll have them and listen to them for a long time in your rig before the poison finally kills them. So uh, which one works best? You'll have to try and find out for yourself. But this is works. what works well for me. You put out the water at night. And they'll never come in. See, that's the big thing. If you set out this water and you just leave it out there, then they're never coming in the rig. They're going there for the peanut butter. They'll get the peanut butter and then they'll drown. And then they're never inside the rig. And really, that's uh, prevention. Not ever allowing them in your rig is the best best way. Uh, but, you know, it's not humane. And I understand if that's important to you. I, I truly do. I'm not, uh, I'm not judging. I hope you won't judge me. I don't want them in my rig. I'm not going to pay $1,000 for repairs. And so it's if it's the battle is between me and them, it's got to be them. So there you go. That's how I personally deal with mice. And a lot of people now are trying the electronic. Oh, another thing I, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, I turn on um, a light overnight. A lot of people swear by that. I don't think it really works. Um, but I'll show you next how I run a light at night. And we'll see. Uh, I'll try that more long term. Uh, I've got a real simple method of how I can run a light overnight, and I'll show you how I do that next. Let's take a look at it. You buy these. I'll put a link down below. You can hang it. See there? And it's got the cord. And the cord is USB. So this is my USB power bank. Now, this is a big one. That's 26,000, I think, uh, whatever those are. And then here is the USB. So I can just leave this out overnight, I'll leave it on, hanging, and then the engine stays completely lighted up. And uh, then the next day, of course, it's going to be down. It's big, so it's not going to be empty, but it's going to be down. And I just put, put it onto my solar and charge it. I have plenty of solar to run that light overnight. Uh, you'd have to be careful that you had enough solar to run that light overnight. You may or you may not. So... But that's, this works for me. I've got plenty of solar, and that's, that's exactly what I do. So I hope that helps. Well, I know this today's uh, video was not uh, very exciting and kind of unpleasant, you know, talking about mice and killing mice and seeing dead mice. But it's really, really important. I think this is an issue that all of you will face. And I think this water bucket method is the one that does more good than any other because... They should never get into the rig. They should come to the water, get in there, and then you catch them before they get in the rig. And if they get in the rig, the next day they're going to want water. And so they're probably going to go out and, and you'll get them then. So I think it's one of the most efficient. It costs you nothing. You're not carrying around traps or poison or, or sticky traps. If you don't, uh, if it doesn't work, you get them in the rig and they still won't go away. I do recommend the sticky traps. We've talked about that. But they're cheap, and they're not dangerous to any of your other animals. Uh, your other animals will be just really, really, really annoyed with it. It's stuck to its nose or whatever, but it's not going to hurt them. So those are really uh, one, of the, one of the good choices. So uh, I'll stop there. Um, it's just some different ideas for how to deal with mice. I think it's almost inevitable that eventually any nomad will have a, a mouse in the rig at some time. So I think it's really important that you, you be ready and you know how to deal with it. Okay, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.